Okay folks, so I got this idea in my head to dig up some scrap wood and make a neat little wheelbarrow that I could fill with flowers for the summer. So that's what I'm working on now. We'll skip through, make it quick until we get to our end result, which is be probably a driftwood look or a antique look make the wheelbarrow look old even though we're using new wood. Okay, so we'll see you soon with our new wheelbarrow and in between right here on my take on Home and Garden. pilot hole for some long screws to put these boards together. I'm going to force some wood glue down in the seam. We'll get these caught up and start putting it together. Okay, now I do what you call a dry fit of all my parts. You see, this nothing's attached yet. Make sure my measurements are right. They will have a little angle on the front. This will be underneath to pick up the wheel. Next. Number six, finishing nails. Our basic form. I didn't want it square because it'd be boring. So this will be a little more realistic. Just gonna get those corners. I gotta figure out the bottom and add a little more to the handle like this. Okay, then I'm going to cut that. Number 8 finishing. Now I'm going to take the corners off each one of these to make that more rounded. So you see I just 45 off of them corners and we've drilled and pilot hold at this position. Now we're going to glue from hole to hole. Do a little squiggle. So a three inch screw in the back, two inch screw in the front. 
should be plenty to hold this. Now here's where we're at. I need feet and a wheel. Remember, we're not going to use this as a real wheelbarrow. The main thing is to put it together so it'll stay and hold some beautiful flowers for the summer. Now I've taken a conduit hanger and hammered it down to where I need it like this so I can just screw this on. I'm going to fill this void with glue and do the same thing on the other side. Then what's keeping that axle from moving? I'm going to put two washers here and screw it on and make a little stop out of it. Okay, now I've got these cabinet corner anchors and I've made up these little stand, little feet for the wheelbarrow. Just a simple 90 degree and I left a little bit stay back from a complete 90 triangle and leave that little foot. I'm going to pick up not only the foot, but the rail as well. Okay, so I found some old paint. It's, it'll work for the background of what I want to do. And if you remember, I told you I want to make that hub look not brand new and shiny. So I took something that was the same diameter, <coughs> made a template, cut it out, so I could put it up against it. Got a little hammered paint. That I got hammered. I got the paint. Hammered paint. Now we're going to start on the body of the wheelbarrow. We're already getting some neat old contrast here in the front. My take uh, is some gray, some kind of gray, maybe browns, really whatever you need to go with your house or home, colors you like. If you're going to use white, I'd use a toned down white because the cuteness is going to come out with the fact that it looks older or antique. So I'm going to catch this up so you don't go away. Okay, now we've got the body of our wheelbarrow and we're going to highlight it so it looks older. just want to use real light motion short strokes very little paint latex again but a darker color obviously just gonna go basically around the edge and drag it in you see how far that paint goes I haven't reloaded the brush very often stippling technique. Very little paint on there. Let's do more of a like a crack. Like the wood's cracked. Don't overdo it. It doesn't take too much. Okay and then we can go around our whole wagon like this. Now we're going to use a little bit of camo green or moss green and we're going to use that sponge I get a little moss and mildew on there to help with that aging okay so we used our green for the moss look and we're going to use a fourth color which I think it really needs very light 
white. Very, very light. Just an idea that it might have been white once. Under all this weather and aging. So I've noticed in art over the years, the more colors you use in a piece like this, or anything, even a fine piece or painting, the more you use, the more realistic it looks. And you've seen those cheap things, cheap carpets, they got two or three colors in and they look terrible, cheap. But it's the same idea, even though we're looking for an older look out of this, it's the same idea. Okay, so now we're going to take a minute and we're going to age our clay pots. Clay pots, because of the look of our old wagon, and it doesn't take much. I'm going to turn it and turn it. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this because we like the look of the terracotta pot. We just don't want it to look so brand new. Just a whisker of dark gray. Even do a cross brush. Touch of kind of a mossy green, camo green. Again, I don't want any of it dominant. Now you've created a ultra thin whitewash or color wash with the sponge. That's it. That's all I want. New flowers for the new wheelbarrow. I like these Astromeria, so good from the last time. A wonderful coleus. All these beautiful plants are coming for blows. Okay folks, so if you like our little summer wheelbarrow full of flowers and you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, or follow us on Instagram. We appreciate all our subscribers. Thank you for watching everybody and we'll see you in the next video.